In this video, we're looking at a horse is touching a handheld target. So here you can see that Lady's just learning. Now, because horses tend to be curious and explore things with their nose, give them a sniff, when you hold out an object, most horses all will give it a sniff and you can mark that moment, say yes, that's it, and reward them for it so they want to do it again. And in that way, you can start to get touching a target to be a really solid behavior on cue. Now, this video is gonna cover loads of different uses for handheld targeting, but if you haven't watched part one on what is targeting, then do pop back and check that out because that covers some of the fundamentals behind it, um, as well things like the emotional state and the different types of targeting. Um, and then join us back here to find out more about handheld targeting. So this is another horse that's learning it. This is Tino. Both Tino and Lady are um, rescues at Hope Pastors Rescue Centre. And you can see that he's just trying to figure it out. And this is a really important point of teaching targeting. It's one of the first behaviours we teach at Connection Training. And um, it helps horses learn how to learn. It's one of the really clear first behaviors where it's their, they learn that it's their action that leads to a marker and a reward. So you can see here now that I'm using a different target with him. Um, you really can use anything for targets and it's very helpful to get them used to um, touching different objects. And you can see more of that as we go through the video. Um, but just really understanding that it's the behavior of reaching out and softly just touching this object with their nose that's the thing that they were, we're wanting. So this is Ned, he's another rescue at Hope Pastors Rescue Centre, these all appear in my foundation course, and here we're just beginning to use some handheld targeting for some de-spooking. Ned was a very, very anxious donkey, he's very suspicious of any strange objects, and just getting him to target a rope is really, um, was the first step at building his confidence exploring different items. So you can see that this second time he's now much more confident touching the rope. Because targeting is a really clear, fun behaviour um, that you've worked on so that your horse finds it really joyful and it really builds their confidence, it's a great thing to take to these strange new objects to help build their confidence. So the exercise that you've just seen with Ned is where I'd start if you're working with an anxious horse. But then you can use it as you move up to other de-spooking situations like a tarp. So this is one of my horses, um, another rescue, Khalil, uh, my Arab. And you can see that as the tarp flapped in the wind, he got very worried and um, moved away from it. So here I'm just holding it up, crouching down, giving him confidence. And there I just asked him to touch my handheld target just to give him again that reassurance. It's something that he knows to do. He absolutely loves targeting. They all do once you've taught it. Just to say, you don't need to come any closer. Just touch this, stay with me. It keeps his focus, keeps him being successful. And you can see there how it's starting to draw him closer and build his confidence without him having to go too far. This was later in the session and um, where I'm at asking him to target the tarpaulin directly. So again, this is why asking your horse to touch different objects is really, really helpful. So it's, I've got the cue of I present it to them and say touch, and that's the cue for you can come and touch this. And it's really effective for turning potentially spooky objects into something really confident. So here you can see that India, when she was about three, I think, was quite anxious about this piece of board that was leaning against the wall. But once I pointed to it and said touch, <laughs> this is my cue for targeting, she was like, oh, Oh, it's a target, nothing to worry about. And that's again the benefit of having these really positive emotions associated with it, is that when you then um, ask it for your horse, then they go, oh, I know what to do with this, I feel good about it. This fantastic clip is Trisha um, having used targeting to teach her horse how to use an inhaler. And again, just takes out the fight, makes it a really joyful experience together. This clip is a horse I worked with named Red and I was teaching her to lead in a head collar and I'm just holding the target out, encouraging her to come forwards a step at first. And she had big issues with the rope before this and you can see there she's like, oh, I'm not sure about this. But the target was there just to draw her forward, explain what I wanted. It gives them that guidance, that clarity to draw um, of where you want them to go. And again, taking that in, this is, um, again, I hope pastures, India working with um, Revel and using the same thing with the loading. So just where she's kind of just beginning to get a little bit uncomfortable using the target to say, can you just reach forwards, beginning to hint about guiding her for forwards into the trailer, but also giving her that confidence, that joy and that reassurance. Now he can see really clear here, this is Luby, a horse I was um, training for someone, that you can use the target as a guide to get them into position into the mounting block. So I used it there to really explain the position that I wanted, but once they know the behavior, you can fade the target out. So it's not there to be used all of the time, it's just a tool that says, this is what, this is what I want you to do. 
So in the same vein, here I'm teaching India lateral flexions using the target. So she's again, the target tells her where to go. Can she bend her head round? This is where I want her to be. So it's a really clear way of explaining what you want from your horse. But again, you don't want to use it, have to use it all the time. So here I'm transferring the cue from the target to the rope. I hold the start to ask for the two together, hold a little, little bit with the rope, but still use the target to explain to her what I want. Once she's got the idea, then I can fade the target completely and just use the rope. The same as you saw Luby line up at the mounting block and Red start to lead without the target. So it's really a tool to explain what you want. So here I'm using it to teach Rowan how to back up. And again, it's just guiding her saying, this is what I want, here you go. But of course in future I, I transfer it to a voice cue, the word back, some different body positions, and um, things like that so that I can use it both on the ground, um, ask for it both on the ground without the target and when I'm riding. But the target is there initially to explain that behavior. And then as we progress, we can ask for a few more steps. And I'm also using it to help shape the backup as well to keep her head low because she has a tendency to lift her head and hollow. So you can improve and shape behaviors too. So here I'm working with Rowan again, and this time I'm using the target to explain to her how to move her shoulders over. So you can see that the target says, I want you to go over there, but I'm adding my cue in of the hand on the shoulder as well because I want to be able to fade the target out. So again, the target's explained the behavior initially so clearly, so easily, but you can fade it out so you don't need it forever. And then this final example of using the handheld target is me working with my mare India. So this is just a little bit of um, free jumping. So she knows to stay, which is another foundation exercise we teach at Connection Training. But then I can call her to me over the jump and I can use the target to guide her over the jump and also to make sure that she comes to my side rather than straight on top of me. I really hope you enjoyed this video on targeting and are really inspired to go and use it with your horse. Do check out the other videos in the targeting series for more ideas. And if you want to know exactly how to use it, then do check out the Connection Training Club. This is an online membership site and we have all of these home study courses. And these have hundreds of videos in that give you step-by-step -step training lessons on exactly how to train all of the things that you've seen in this video, right from how to introduce the target to um, using it for de-spooking or for loading, for riding, for lunging, for free jumping. All of these bits are all in the um, home study courses. We also have loads of other pieces too in the club. So you can get support through the forum and the Inside Track blog, which has extra videos and audios for members only. You can join Rachel and I live in our um, Q and A's and access all of the Q and A recordings as well. We do monthly fun challenges. We've got coaches and just loads. You can meet up with other members, loads of really fun stuff. So if you want to find out more and join our really warm, friendly, and supportive and fun community from all over the world, then go to connectiontraining.com. You can find out more about us there. And if you click on the tab, learn CT online, join the CT club, you can find out more information there and sign up. I can't wait to see you there.